Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the number one things, I think altogether the number one thing from the Naturalist role that came out. I know a lot of people's having trouble. I'm having tons of trouble myself with legendary animals. And that's one of the main things people were looking forward in the Naturalist role, even though we didn't know it's there really. Uh, but we all had a kind of idea that the Trapper was coming to the game. Um, but it's kind of close to what a lot of us were thinking. So, But there's tons of different cosmetics. You know, there's all kinds of different things you could do. On top of the Naturalist roll, animal spawns are amazing right now. And uh, with this, what I'm gonna show you what you need to get, you're gonna be able to take a huge advantage of that. And uh, we're gonna head over to Gus. And a lot of these things got overlooked. You know, a lot of the cosmetics is what a lot of people seem to focus on. And there's these little things called trinkets that kind of just went under the radar. So we're gonna head over to Gus. I'm gonna show you what you need to get. I Like I said, I think this is the number one thing you need to get in the game right now because it covers multiple roles. So all you need, of course, to do is find Gus. He's throughout the map. Just find the animal paw print throughout the map everywhere in the game. It's pretty easy to get to. None of them too far out of the way. So let's go to Gus real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And once the menu pulls up, go ahead and go down to trinkets. And once you go to trinkets, go down to the buck antler trinket. It's for $775, which I know right away, a trinket's freaking almost $800. Forget about that for a second. Uh, but what's really good about this is that it helps spawn more perfect pelts and perfect animals. But what's great about this, as you can see, if you hit R3, it talks about what each trinket is. It says player has a higher chance of receiving better quality pelts and skins from animals in perfect condition. So you're going to have a higher availability of getting those. And I know right away it's like, well, what's the point? Well, of course we have tons of animals. So let's take the naturalist roll and push this to the side for a second about the legendaries. I know that's horrible right now for everybody. But if you think for the trader roll, for over $600, one full wagon, you're going to get over $600. So this trinket can pay for itself very quickly. So you're going to be able to fill up your camp. You're going to get better goods and stuff, higher grade quality ones, uh, perfect ones and stuff, you know, instead of just getting you know poor junky ones and stuff like that it's going to pay for itself so what i'm trying to do is find the silver lining going right now and what i'm going to do myself is i'm going to focus on the trader role just earn some cash gold's pretty easy to do i know a lot of people always ask about gold just do your daily challenges guys do your daily challenges you're going to get tons of gold during that i know it may seem monotonous at times but just do that cash on the other hand because the collector role has been nerfed you know, you can't get those 10 sets. And I'm gonna show you something real quick. When you go and look at this, what you need is one buck antler and you need the Dane Topaz necklace. And I know right away people are gonna say the map is screwed. All the locations are still there. So all these locations, these dig spots are there. What has happened is they have just, you know, put a spin on the variety of them now. So it's gonna be hard to get those 10 sets you know, Gene and Roki and stuff, they're gonna probably work on this and maybe find out the cycles. Those cycles might be something insane and it can't be, but either way we can still utilize this. So what you need to do is pull up all of the necklaces. And once you pull up all the necklaces, go to those locations because they're gonna be varied now. So you may do a little bit of running back and forth, but for the most part, you're only gonna have to do it one time anyway. So you're not gonna have to do this a bunch of times and just find the necklace in that day then you have it. So even though it may say the necklace is not one of these locations, go there anyway, dig it up, and more than likely you're gonna find it when the, you know, the first day or so. But like I said, you only gotta do it one time. So anyway guys, like I said, just trying to find a silver lining in it. I know the disconnects are horrible. I got disconnected about five times just trying to get in here to do this video. So I feel your pain. I, I've only found three legendary animals myself, and I've kind of just waited because I'm hoping Rockstar will fix the spawns for it. Now, maybe they're not going to. Maybe they are just supposed to be really, really hard to find. They are called legendary. So we'll see how that goes. But if they just fix the disconnects, I think that'll make a lot of people happy. So guys, if you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, as soon as things come out that are worth, you know, kind of making videos on to help you guys out in roles or just in the game in general, I always make them. So make sure to hit that sub button and bell notification. 
And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.